Good day everyone! In this video, we'll be talking about continuity, but more specifically, continuity at a number. So when can we determine if a function is continuous? A function is continuous at a point if and only if the limit as you approach that point is equal to the value of the function at that point. So in order for a function to be considered continuous at a point, it has to satisfy the following conditions. So first, if the limit of f of x as x approaches a exists, and the second if f of a exists, and the third if the limit of f of x as x approaches a is equal to f of a. So in order for us to fully understand what a continuity is, I will have to show you a graph. So this is continuous because the two-sided limit approaches the same value of the function. So it's basically continuous. And in short, a function is continuous at a point if you can draw the graph of that function without having to lift your pen or pencil. So let's keep in mind that not all functions are continuous. There are three different types of discontinuities. The first one is the removable or whole discontinuity. The Second is the jump discontinuity, and the third is the infinite or asymptotic discontinuity. So I will be discussing the removable or whole discontinuity first. Um, as you can see, as x approaches a of f of x, it equals to the value of l. But if you notice that if you plug a in to the function to make it more defined, um, it goes to a different value, so the limit exists, but the value of that point is different, which makes it a removable or whole discontinuity. Now, the second one that I will be discussing is the jump discontinuity. The limit doesn't even exist, because as x approaches a from the left, it goes closer to m, but as x approaches a from the right, it approaches n. So, basically, if you solve for the left-hand and right-hand limit and they're not equal, then the limit doesn't exist. And just by looking at the graph, it looks like it's jumping, so it's a jump discontinuity. Now, the last one that I will be talking about is the infinite or asymptotic discontinuity. Notice that as x approaches a from the left, it spikes up to infinity. And as x approaches a from the right, it spikes down to infinity. So you can say that a limit does not exist since it is approaching infinity. Therefore, it is an infinite or asymptotic discontinuity. So now we'll be having some examples. And the first example is a piecewise function. So f of x is equal to 3x minus 1 if x is greater than 2. And f of x is equal to x squared plus 1 if x is less than or equal to 2. So we have to remember again that in order for a function to be continuous, it needs to satisfy these three conditions, which were discussed earlier. So condition 1. In order for f of x to exist, the left hand and the right hand limit should both be equal. So for the left hand limit, I solved it using this, I solved it using this function because it should be coming from the left, so x is less than or equal to 2. And for the right hand limit, I use 3x minus 1 because it should be coming from the right, so x is greater than 2. So what I did here, all I did was just substitute x, x using 2 in the function and I just got 5, so since the left hand and the right hand limit are equal, then the limit exists. So for condition 2, find out if f of a exists. So if you plug in 2 to the function, then you just get 5, so yes, it exists. And the third condition, we need to find out if f of x is equals to f of a. 
So since they're both equal, which is 5 equals to 5, then all the three conditions are satisfied. So it is a continuous function. In order to better illustrate this piecewise function as a continuous function, I will show you a graph. And this is how it actually looks like. It's a parabola. And as you can see, like you don't even need to lift your pen while graphing it. So it's continuous. Now in this example, we have a piecewise function. f of x is equal to the square root of x plus 1 if x is greater than or equal to 3. f of x is equal to 8 if x is not equal to 3. And f of x is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 1 if x is less than 3. Now we need to find out if this function is continuous at a number, in this case the number 3. Now again, we need to satisfy these three conditions in order for us to find out if the function is continuous at a number. So let's start with the first condition here. The limit of f of x as x approaches to a should exist. In order for f of x to exist, the left-hand limit must equal to the right-hand limit. So let us start with the left-hand limit. In order for us to find out which function to use, we must go back to our given. So since it's a left-hand limit, it must come from the left. So in this case, we need to use this equation because x is less than 3. So let's write that down. The limit of x squared plus 2x plus 1 as x approaches to 3 from the left. Now we just have to substitute our value of x here into the equation. So 3 squared plus 2 times 3 plus 1. And then you just have to multiply and add and that is equal 16. And now, let us solve for our right-hand limit. So, right-hand limit. And now, let us go back to our given again. So since it's from the right, it must be from the right. And in this case, we, we need to use this equation because x is greater than or equal to 3. So let's just write that down. The limit of square root of x plus 1 as x approaches 3 from the right. And now again, you just have to substitute our x here into the equation. So that will be square root of 3 plus 1 equals square root of 4, and that will be equal to. And now let us compare our left-hand limit and our right-hand limit. Okay, so as you can see here, our left-hand limit and our right-hand limit are not equal to each other. So, to conclude this, this given function f of x is a discontinuous at x equals 3, and it has a removable discontinuity. Now, to better illustrate this function as having a removable discontinuity, I will show you a graph of these functions. So, here. Now, as you can see here, there is a constant given. And that will be our discontinuity. And this is called a whole discontinuity or a removable discontinuity. So, let's have one more example. This time with a rational function. 
the function would be g of x is equal to x squared plus 8x plus 15 over x minus 1 where x is equal to 2. Now in order to solve this, we need to follow the three conditions. But there is no need to show the left hand and the right hand limit as it will equal the same thing as there's only one given equation. So left hand limit would be this equal to 35. Now for the right hand limit, you can just put the plus sign here. It would equal the same thing. So we're done with the first condition. Now the second condition, we have to determine whether f of a exists. So we don't really have to find the limit here. Uh, we can just evaluate. We can just change this to condition 2. This will become um, f of 2. So, so it will just equal the same thing. Therefore, there is a continuity at the function. Since it is a rational function, there will be asymptotes. So the graph will look like this. So that's it for our final example and thank you for watching this video.